in any of the initiatives and the work that we're doing is to help fulfill the prophecy of our, of our ancestors. And they said that one day we would find our rightful place in our, in our homeland. And I find that uh, we are at that defining moment today. And I always like to say that and reaffirm that we are the original people of our homeland. And being the original people that we that we have the distinction of offering a leadership in our homeland. And that leadership comes with duties and responsibilities. And those duties and responsibilities have been defined for us through our lodges and through the, the words of our ancestors. And what we're doing here today is uh, reintroducing uh, the teachings of traditional therapy. We find in, in many of our communities that because of colonization, because of being uh, enclosed in these, in these institutions, many of our people forgot the teachings. We have not lost this teaching, but we've forgotten many of them. And today we've, uh, we, we come into the, the sacred lodges of our people to help bring back the memory of those, of those teachings that are shared by, by the wisdom keepers, the knowledge keepers of our people. And one of those individuals that has you know, been honored and recognized has been Janet Fox for, for the work that she does. Today we're, we're challenged to, to provide as much support as we can to the development of the spirit of our children. And a big part of that is to, to educate our own parents, to educate our leaders of the significance and importance of bringing these teachings back. And it is only when we you know, make the effort to, to return to the beginning that is the place that, uh, that defines the spirit of, of who we are. And in that spirit are, are the duties and responsibilities that we, we are given on how to, to be a good human being. Within the essence of the spirit comes the duties and responsibilities that define what a good parent is, the role of the mother, and the role of the father. There is a silent movement that is sweeping the country, which is probably the most powerful movement that is happening in our homeland, which is the return of our people back to their to their lodges. And this is what we're, is happening in, in this lodge that is reflecting the fulfillment of that prophecy. That we're here to, to regain our spirit and that we, we invoke the spirit of our ancestors to 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 come and, and guide us and lead us in these difficult times and much times of, of darkness. We're surrounded by a culture of war that people are encouraged to to support conflict and that has never been the way of our people. Our knowledge, our teachings reflect how to be a spiritual a spiritual being. And this is what we need to teach our children. And we must share this, these teachings with all children, not only our own, but we must be able to share these teachings and make them available for all children so that they will grow up to honor life in a sacred way. One of the things that we're seeing today is a complete disconnection of the land itself, which we refer to as Mother Earth. It is the mother that guides us. It is the mother that that offers us direction. It is, the, is our mother that provides this unconditional love that we really we need to return and reciprocate back to her. So this is what we're doing in this in this lodge. How's that?